So hello YouTube, it's your boy Vesmotor. Welcome back to the channel on a today video. And this is a new video. I'll be talking about my gaming addiction on my gaming hobby. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Follow my socials. Like right here. And let's dive to the intro and then to the video. One, two, three. Did you sub? So let's start with the gaming history. My gaming history. First, my parents, they brought me a console that I played Super Mario on. I was like seven or six. And then they got me the Sega console, which is, which is like the Genesis that have like Golden Axe, Prince of Rage on. Those arcade games, those retro, and then I got a Dreamcast, which is the, the Sega console as well. This brought me nostalgia, and then I got me uh, no, it was the PS One, it was the PS One, and then the Sega Dreamcast. Then after that, I got a PS Two, which is amazing the highest selling console for PlayStation and then after that I got me a PC like the Pentium style the old OG PC and then after that uh, I kept playing on the PS2 then the PS3 came out and I had to buy it as well I took a break from gaming then I jumped back and then the PS3 was the longest that I the longest time that I ever had a console on and then uh, the PS4 came out which beat the PS3 which is better than the PS3 and it beat the time that I have a console on hand to play on to game on as a last gen next gen when it first came out and i enjoyed it uh, i got me an xbox as well in between the ps3 and the ps4 and i, I had a xbox one as well uh, then after ps4 i got me a ps5 and a pc so basically that's uh, my gaming history uh, I also got a PS Vita when I had my PS3 back in the day when I was in overseas and then after that um, I kept going with gaming I kept playing every day every day every day I used to stay up for like uh, what time it is like 5 a.m like during a senior college year it's crazy playing fifa yeah let's say i'm a gaming addict i love video games i see it for myself i think like an, as an obsession like an addiction rather than a hobby because we live in a, in a society where like the video games is expensive or gaming in general is expensive hobby in a rigged economy so uh, it's very expensive hobby but it's an addicting hobby very addicting uh, i see it like as an obsession uh, i used to like when i used to game uh, i let my mom bring me food so I don't have to leave the room when I used to play like single player games moving from one game to an, an to an, another game and I also took my PlayStation with me when I travel because I love gaming that's why uh, and then after that I when I started like working I 
I only work to get the money to buy my game. So this is more like uh, uh, talking about the the gaming addiction and the obsession as well. Uh, so when I was like working, so I can feed my addiction of gaming. I mean, it's not healthy. Uh, speaking from my personal experience, but it's a it's a very like a nice hobby. The problem with this hobby is like you lose social life like I do. I have no social life currently because of my gaming hobby and addiction. Uh, like all of my friends, like they they live overseas. They don't live here. But most of the people I met here, like on PSN, on PC, on Twitch, on YouTube also, my subs on YouTube and my followers on Twitch. So like this gaming hobby, or this addiction takes me takes your mind and thinking like because uh, when I started the channel on YouTube I like to record my content rather than like addictively playing it offline I want to show it the subs to the viewers on YouTube yeah and I enjoy it Sorry guys, and I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy gaming a lot, uh, but right now I try to balance between like uh, real life and like gaming life. But every time I do this, I find my interest towards gaming more because I'm addicted to it. That's why I'm addicted to gaming. Uh, I'm sure some of you had this issue, like more addictive uh, tendency towards gaming uh, it's like it's like you're on uh, a drug that you can never take yourself from so like you can like uh, what do you call it was the one I'm looking for you can't like quit it I mean I'm I'm in my 30s right now and I'm still gaming. I've been gaming for like 27 years now on different platforms, on any platform that you can think of, except the Saturn or some like vintage console that I, I have never played. But you know, you can play it on an emulator as well. But that's uh, the gaming addiction uh, it's not enough. You need to get a job. You need to like uh, have like a education. You need like several stuff. I mean, I'm putting my life together for that reason because uh, I try to balance myself between my addictive hobby and the real life, like right? between college and like work. You have to find a balance for your time. That's the the best advice I can give you from an addictive, from an addict, from a gaming addict. Such as myself, it's like, I mean, uh, yeah, you know, like keep gaming and never like look for a job or anything like that is very bad, as well. Alright, guys, that's all I have for you for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.